Hello guys, today I'm showing you the one and only PlayStation 1. This is going to be a really bad review because my video ratings are also just made out of cardboard. Yeah. Well, I have no video editing yet because, you know, I'm so lazy I can't make cardboard size. So let's get to it. So pretty much it's just a small game console with modern buttons. It's got no reset button like the Nintendo. Super Nintendo, SNES, or whatever you want to call it. Well, I usually plug it in. You'll see me playing Final Fantasy, because, you know, that's the only game I could find. And, um, so pretty much it's a compact system. I'll also be doing, um, reviews, just a little heads up on that. And that, Xbox, uh, yep, PlayStation 2, which is over there, which you can't see. Yep, over there. Well... Um, the only game I got for so far this, maybe one of my favorite games, is Final Fantasy IX. It's a pretty cool game. If you don't freak out, call me because it's hard. Well, okay, so the wires are by the TV, so I can't really play it right now, but I'll play it in the next video. I promise. So, the controllers are pretty much the exact same as the other system, the PS2. They're pretty much the exact same, just the PS2 is a copy of the PlayStation 1 one, because Sony doesn't really change it up at all. Their controllers always stay the same. But who knows, the memory card is insanely the same size. Yep, I bought it for $14. And you know what, I despise Iceman now. Don't buy stuff there. Pokemon games, I go there, Pokemon games. Forty-one dollars, like jeez, you gotta be kidding me. Well, it, yeah, it's pretty simple. Like, just shove that in there and then plug this in. See, so plug this thing in under that thingy. You can also fit two memory cards in, two controllers. It's a very little system. Just like I said, like two times, and then um, yeah, mostly like at the bottom of the CD is not black on Final Fantasy. It's obviously, well not Final Fantasy, all of them. All of them are usually black. I haven't seen one CD yet. But the thing, good thing about these CDs is they just feel really different and for some reason they're harder to scratch. Like I don't try to scratch them but every game I got, like they fall around in their cases but you just, like I can even see them. If you can see those scratches, they're very, very little. Look, look in my eye. On CD, look in them. Uh, well, okay, we're just gonna have to talk loud through my horrible bass. Well, through that, it's a pretty short review, but all we need to do now is play it, but that'll be in part two. But I'll make part two in two minutes because you know I'm pretty cheap, so I have no minutes on making video editing. So, for the oh, 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 well, okay, it's better now. For the closing of the, the closing of the video will be Paper Tower. That's right, Paper Tower. Okay, well, this will be the closing of the video, and you can watch me play Final Fantasy and, like, no, no. Next episode, which is probably like gonna happen right, right now. So, what you can see that Murray's not here because you know I spent the whole day with him today at his house. Now we watch so much movies, and you know what? I don't even want to. Well, anyways, he'll be with me in the next, not the next video, the Xbox review. He'll be here. Okay. Now y'all name it. Now bye. 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 Bye.